Did you say something? I wasn't paying attention. Am I missing something? What's with all the tension? My only shame. I don't play a game. Oh, hey, Rebel. Hey, Sage. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. I was waiting for you here in the in the chat room. The little chatty chat room. Where we do our thing, chicken wing. <laughs> oh, I haven't had chicken wings in a long time. Speaking of which. I know, that sounds kind of good. It does. Hey, uh, oh, we're on video now, so I can look at people and say, welcome to Rebel Stage Perspectives. Yes, <laughs> you can do that. I love it. It's so excited for everybody that's here. Um, yeah. Whether you're, whether you're intently watching or vacuuming or we're just background noise. Whatever it the case be may be. background noise. Yeah, whatever the case may be. Thanks for thanks for being here. <laughs> <laughs> right, indeed. You know, Sage, I feel like I have a great face for radio, and now I feel very exposed <laughs> that we're doing a uh, video because I have more of a radio face. So I'm no, just no saying. Way. No. Yeah. Hey, stop it. Hey, you know what? Since you made that light adjustment, it's a lot better. But I mean, before you look like one of the girls from Addicted to Love. My oh, dear God. You're addicted to love. Remember the ones with the bass <laughs> and they had the white makeup? They look like boogie yes. ladies in, yeah, in short skirts. It was, yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> right. I do not have a short skirt on. I don't. Oh, no. I could fake it and say that I did because nobody can see it, but I don't. Right, right. Well, Super you know, long. If, you, if all you can do is, I mean, before all you could do was hear us. Now you can see us. Right. Now you can see us. But what you can't see, we can tell you is whatever it is, and it kind of doesn't matter. Yeah, for I, the most part. Yeah. yeah, I believe in the imagination of our listeners. I really do. I really <laughs> do. Yeah, like I prefer that because I'm one of those imaginative people. I will. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've told you this before or not. Maybe I have, but like I used to sit at the mall with my dad. And we used to make up stories about people who were passing by and we would go in full detail. Like they had a huge fight before they came to the mall. He, she was like, you're taking me to the mall. And he's like, no, I'm not because you're just going to spend a bunch of money. And she's like, no, <laughs> Gucci doesn't cost that much. <laughs> and like, you know, like this whole embellished story and, and he's mad because not only did she buy the Gucci bag, but she went and bought like a Prada outfit and uh, Jimmy Choo shoes to go with it. Like we would make up this whole story and my dad would laugh because he didn't know any of the brands. He was, right. he was a U.S. Marine and he, he was like, sure, I'll wear whatever you buy for me, but he wouldn't know if he was wearing polo or if he was wearing something from Walmart. He really wouldn't. <laughs> so, but he used to just laugh. We would make up all these stories and I haven't done that in a while. And I think I need to go back to it because it was very fun. Wow. Actually, that, that, that would be kind of a fun show. It was. I think that would be a, that would be a fun, fun show. <laughs> should do it. Do it remotely and see if we can record on our phones or something. Oh. That'd be great. Yeah. Where would we go? Like what? Like Walmart? No, Walmart? that's just that's. I don't want to do that. Well, I don't want to I mean, talk about the all the people kind of, in their pajamas. I don't know. I feel kind of weird going to a mall and just sitting somewhere. <laughs> I yeah, someone's going to someone's going to tell me to move along or something. Well, they probably would now because of COVID. Oh, yeah. You can only sit there for 30 minutes and then you have to go. Yeah, because in 31 minutes, COVID is going to strike and get you like oh, a viper. Geez. I hope not. That's terrible. That's terrible. I know. Um, I just think that's crazy, like a time limit, but whatever. You know. Right. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, so, I mean, here's what we could do. I mean... Granted, it, it, it could put on a few pounds, but if we only do it every now and again, it shouldn't be too bad. What we could do is we can go and do content live at a food court. 
<laughs> and so we can hang around long enough to do content. We'll just right. have a little something from every right. <laughs> right. It would be, be sort of sort of like punked from a distance. Right. <laughs> nice. Undercover punked. Undercover punked. <laughs> it's like you don't know what's happening. You actually the the, the person being punked really is not feeling that punkishness. But it's there. <laughs> but it's there because, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'd have to, like, black out their heads or whatever so you couldn't actually see them. Because that would just be mean and people probably would get mad about that. Yeah, they probably would. would be like, be. I'm in the witness protection program and you put my face all over the internet. <laughs> and my Russian ex-boyfriend saw it and came to get me because you put it on your podcast on YouTube, you punk. Oh, wow. <laughs> See, I've got stories. Uh, that's heavy. That is heavy. <laughs> that, that's heavy. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, that, actually, that, that reminds me of a story. Okay, when I first came to Tennessee... Um, I, I was working in, I was working in this deli and, um, one day, one of the people that I worked with came up to me and they said, well, and it was, it was kind of weird because I could tell that they were sincere. It wasn't a joke to them. They were very That's, sincere. Right. And they said, and they, they looked at me and said, hey, are you in the witness protection program? <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What? <laughs> I, I, I had a split second of wanting to just keep my face still and say, don't say anything, please don't say anything. Please. I mean, I wanted to play, I wanted to play it, but I just, it was so out of left field and she was so concerned. I said, no, why would, what would give you that idea? And she's because every time I see you, you're like, you're, you're looking around. <laughs> Like you're looking, it's like you're looking for somebody to you look over your shoulder. To walk a lot. up on you. Yeah. And I looked at her and said, Well, yeah, I'm here at a front counter in a deli and, and I'm doing things with my with my back turned and I have to keep an eye out for customers. I'm just keeping an eye out to see if anybody needs help. And she's all, Really? I'm all, yeah, really. <laughs> I had to like spill out my history. Here, look, here's my history. The only time I've ever been in trouble was for this, and that was in Tijuana, and we paid 50 bucks and got out of jail. It was not a big deal. Right, it, right. It, it was, I mean, it blew me away because this person was just very sincere. Was, yeah. And I'm that's, guessing in the that's crazy. And I'm guessing out here in the sticks to come across someone who's been in the who's in the witness protection program is, is not a stretch. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Yeah. I wonder if when they put them in witness protection, they teach them to like, or they tell them they've got to learn the accent, the local accents. Um, I wonder how in-depth it is. I would I love would. to be able to talk to somebody <laughs> that really actually knows, not somebody in witness protection, but like somebody in law enforcement that could give me the full rundown. Because I'm right. tired of the Hollywood the version. I yeah, want to know, know the real deal. Right, right. I mean, what what is the protocol? How hard is it to keep, to protect somebody who has uh, aided the state in prosecuting bad people? You know? Yeah. How, how, how I mean, and what kind of deal do, and what kind of deal do they actually end up with? And I mean, in my mind, at a certain point in criminality, it becomes sociopathic, where you have no concern for any individual, be it that, be it, you know, uh, you just you don't care about people. You're just a bad person. You're a criminal. You're a bad person. <laughs> At what point do well, yeah. the ones who the those kinds of people who tell on the bad kinds of people? I mean, what what should they really get other than not have to go to jail? Um, well, they would like <laughs> to not die. That's okay. the thing. I think that's the whole point of witness protection. Like they're right, trying right. to keep, okay. the, other, keep them alive. Other than not going to jail and going somewhere where it's most likely anyone from anyone that you 
ratted on is not, not going to find you and kill you, right? I mean, is that kind of the baseline of it? I think that is the baseline of it. But I don't know. I, I think I mean, like I get. said, I would really like to talk to somebody who actually knows. But, you know, so if anybody's out there that knows, you ought to be able to figure out how to contact me. So you contact me and we can talk about having you on the show and blacking you out. And like, I don't know how to disguise your voice. So you'll have to do that on your side, but you reach <laughs> out to me. <laughs> what you do is you put a crumple is you put a crumpled bag over whatever the microphone is and you just kind of mess with it while you talk. <laughs> Ooh, do I have a do I have a bag? I want to try that. <laughs> I'll wait here for that. you. Oh wait, yes, I do. I do. Oh sweet, sweet. Let's see if it'll work. <laughs> Ooh, this bag's kind of gross. It had Girl Scout cookies in it. Okay. Right. There we go. I don't think this is discussing my voice very well, Sage. I really don't. Yeah, no. Oh, it just it just sounds like you're Yeah. And it got thin mints all over my microphone cover. Oh, it'll it'll be it'll smell nice. It'll be nice. Ooh, it if does. you get too close. <laughs> <laughs> and if you bump it into your mouth, you can give it a lick. <laughs> Uh, easy. <laughs> Kids are watching. <laughs> I doubt that. I right, hope okay, not. Good. Okay, good. But yeah, that would be awesome to have somebody on that was that knew how that worked. Right. But I don't really want to be the contact person because I don't want anybody finding me truthfully. But I would like to talk to somebody. But you know, no, maybe no, somebody no. retired, a retired whatever they are hey. would be cool that should that shouldn't be too hard to find no i wouldn't think so we can go but back who to that is responsible huh? who's responsible for witness protection is it would it be fbi would it be cia uh, i think that would be a big level thing I think that wouldn't be like local police no i think ultimately that's the uh justice department justice department i think it's jod i, I think that's the acronym D for it. i think it's DOJ. DOJ, department of justice i think yeah. i'm dyslexic so that's cool too that's okay <laughs> we still love you oh we're sending you air hugs air hugs for you sage <laughs> <laughs> You know, people are going to watch this one and they're going to be like, what is wrong with those two weirdos? <laughs> no way to say everything is so right with those two weirdos. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Maybe, oh, maybe my not, ear, yeah. My ear itches. Stick your finger in it. That'll help. I would like to, but that's kind of weird. Okay. All right. I'm good. Good. Got it together. Good. I, I went that to the sounds, chiropractor today. That sounds so good. But I think I'm going to get a wheel instead of doing that. What's uh, that? Well, you'll have to look it up because I probably shouldn't be mentioning it since we're heard all over the world. Okay. Well, text it to me so I can look it up. <laughs> oh, you know what? Maybe I'll just pull it up and if they have a problem with that then we'll be like uh sorry i don't know because they're really cool hold on i'll find it it's like um that that rolling thingy that like the foam roller that i have in my living room on yeah the but it's different was it like studded different. or something it's got like balls on it that uh maybe like i'm not it really like sure one That's a review. I don't want a review. In, in taxis in, in New York. Okay. The Beats. Uh, watch the before you 1970s buy. 1970s Corollas. You'd see them in 70s Corollas. And, uh, yeah. and um, MGT, a lot of the with MGTs. Yeah. Spiders. You would see those funny back massagers in the car. Oh, wait. How do I share? Share screen? Oh, it's not letting me share it because it's playing a video. 
I guess. Yeah, content protected. I guess. Okay, well, this lady is just going on about how amazing it is there. She's like, this is so good. And I'm like, dude, it looks like it in theory. I don't know. Hold on, I'm trying to either say it it or retext me the name. (laughs) Hold up. That's not the one. Hold up. I'll show you. Gosh. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, when you put this go. one up, you, you need to title it a uh, Rebel and Sage Wrestle with Technology for Information. Because huh, I don't know like, why you're just not sending me a text. <laughs> well, because I want people to see it. It's cool, but okay, okay. I guess it's not. How about this? I'll do a screen, That's... send something to me so I can do a screenshot and I'll go like this. Yeah. Okay. We'll try that because I don't think it's working. Where'd I put my phone? Oh, okay. These look amazing. I really want one of these. Really want one. That's okay. What are you talking hey, about? It, oh, are you one of those people that when you read, your, your lips move? Yes. After your comment about how much I'd like to talk, don't you imagine <laughs> that is the case? <laughs> And yes, I was mad when you said that, butthead. <laughs> and yes, I did just call you a butthead, butthead. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. Shut up. <laughs> no, I, no. I think, you know what? I, I think that is one of the most adorable traits of people who read uh, is the people who, when they read, their lips move. I think that is adorable. Do you? I love I'm glad that. because. And you know, and it's, my, not, and it's not, and I know it's my not lips a move all the time, even in my sleep. <laughs> No, you mistook what I said. <laughs> oh, that is a little bit narcissistic. Blame it on somebody else. I'm just saying. Oh, <laughs> is it possible though? Maybe you aren't mis- you? <laughs> Am I a narcissist? I don't think so. I don't. That think wasn't. So. A, that wasn't a no. I don't think you are. Okay, good. I don't think I am either. Yeah, I was just giving you a hard time because you know. I'm also trendy, so I got to use that trendy word. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, and and you know, and I just totally, I just totally let all the listeners know. Yeah, got a trigger. Grew up with our, grew up, grew up with people of that manner, and afraid to be one of them for sure. Yeah. Oh man, you just said your real name, buddy boy. Now they know. Know what? Nothing. They know nothing. No. It's all a secret. Damn. Oh, you're well, you know what? You're just gonna have to wait, you can you can can you be I can't can you edit. Be? I don't know how oh. Not sure. Probably, but I don't know how, but maybe I don't know. I get paid on Friday. I'll Ven I'll Venmo you extra money to be fast. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I'll, ven- I'll, ven- I'll Venmo you all of all of my uh, what do they call that? Expendable income for the month <laughs> to be fast, please. That is so sad. That is so sad. Don't do that. That makes me sad <laughs> for you. <laughs> It does. It does. I mean, it's only like would, fifteen bucks. If, <laughs> if I were if I were sending you money, I'd be sending my um, my eyelash allowance for the. Oh. <laughs> I like my lashes. I do. Oh, I could pluck them for you, dear. I don't want them plucked. I need to add extra, darling. Extra. Oh. Oh, I can fix that for you too. My Very brows, easy. I can do my waxing on my own, which obviously I've no. not done recently, but. What? Uh, darling, darling, you, uh, from what I can tell, you have the opportunity and the potential for a full, luscious, beautiful set of brows. And I think. M- I, th- I think Brows you might be uh, what, what are we talking about? I was talking about my eyelashes. 
Oh. And then somewhere in the conversation, we switched to my eyebrows. No, well, dear, those will not grow back. I those think they're are great. what they are. I didn't do anything to them. Well, don't do anything to them. They're fantastic. I haven't, I haven't done anything to them since before I was on that one medicine that made my hair fall out. Oh, well, don't do anything to them because they're yeah, fantastic. They're just what they are. I just filled them in so there's more of them. I'm a so fan you can good, see them because they're gray. I'm a fan of good brow. Me too. And I, I think you have a good brow. Thank you. Yeah. Lashes, don't worry about it. Just paste that shit on. I, I am putting, <laughs> I glued them. See? Well, yeah, see, there you go. Like Are you going to get those ones that like come way out with the little bedazzling on the end of it? No, I like your shirt. Oh, it's actually an, an undershirt. I like it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. What, I was I was saying earlier about going to the chiropractor. I had a point. You that, were, yes. Okay, so one, one thing I do at my chiropractor's office, um, and they're really great. I, I love them. They, they treat me like a king every time and always make <laughs> me feel good. Um, Anyway, I, I don't know if I can, well, yeah, uh, here in Franklin, just in the strip mall behind the Whole Foods, come see them if you have, if you're having issues. Anyway, um, so every now and again, I will ask to use the scale and when I step onto a scale, I want it to be accurate. So I like to have the privacy to be able to just, just strip down to my skitties. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, and it's and it's at the car, and there is there is you know they also have a room for X rays. They have private rooms, right. so it's not like I'm you know stripping right there next to a chiropractic table. Anyway, so I asked, hey, can I use a scale? And he's all, oh, you know what? Um, we're gonna have some X rays, but I got a digital one right here around the corner, and it's in a little little room because I told him because they know they know about it. Right. Know, when I check my weight, I like to get be accurate. Right. Um, so he gave me a little room and I stood on the scale and my current weight is the same I weighed when I was barely 18 and wrestling. And, and it was the, and I wrestled two weights, one weight I wrestled most of the time. And the other weight was a lower weight that I, I had to suck down to wrestle for. And I was right. basically, okay. yeah, for that meet, I was a sacrificial lamb. I got to wrestle, uh, an international judo champion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he didn't pin me though. I didn't get pinned. Awesome. He beat me up. He beat me up. <laughs> but I didn't get pinned. Um, but it, I was just completely blown away. Um, That's awesome. Yeah. And, and really, I, I mean, I'm not, I know that a lot of people struggle with these things and, you know, body consciousness and health consciousness and, uh, you know, excess weight is, is, you know, something that people across the board kind of consider. Um but, oh, baby, you're beautiful. And, <laughs> oh, and you're so kind. And, you, and if you feel the need to make improvement, you're perfectly capable. There's no problem there. I love it. I love this about Sage, you guys. <laughs> He's good either way. He's like, you're beautiful the way you are. But if you want to improve, you can handle it. He's like my own personal cheerleader. Sage hey. is like, go rebel, go rebel. This you can do box. it. This you can do box. it. <laughs> raw, 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 rebel. Anyway, um, so oh, what was I saying? <laughs> you just embarrassed. You just embarrassed me in front of the billions of our listeners right now. I know. That's okay. Um, but I, it was a, uh, it was, it was just kind of a weird experience to, to be healthy, and I almost did nothing for it. All I did was, I mean, as you know, I switched to being a vampire. Um, you know, I work nights yes. now mm -hmm. and, you know, the, the, the work that I'm engaged in is very physical. Um, right. And it, it's almost just kind of happened as a matter of doing that. 
I mean, I'm, I'm covering up my arms because they're like all ripped with veins and stuff right now. It feels almost kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think just changing when I had a job, I had this one job. I'd lost a bunch of weight when I worked there, but I was up and down ladders all day long for the nine or 10 hour shift. I was just climbing up and down, doing this, doing that, putting stuff away, getting it down. And I was on the ladder and just on the run the whole time. And it just, it really does make a difference when you move to something where, you know, you're active versus sedentary and for sure. You know, that it makes a difference to me in how I feel throughout the day. If I'm sitting here at my desk all day long, my blood sugars aren't good. My, I don't feel well. Like I'm just feel a little, a little stiff in the hips. Yeah. Just sluggish. And that, that's the other thing. I, I'm not sure I've got this. It's never been diagnosed, but I think I have like some ADHD or something like I get, like I sit here and when I'm sitting here doing this and I'm sitting too long, I get ants in my pants. I'm just like, I need to move. I need to do something. I need to get up. I need to look at my phone. I need to straighten my desk. Like I can't. And I really hope our guests, I, I hope I don't offend or annoy our guests when I do that because I'm not cognizant of it all the time when I, when I start doing that, but I start, you know, like rocking in my chair. Like, I feel like I need to get one of the wobble seats that the elementary kids have at school so I can just do my thing. Oh, I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you. Maybe this is something that you need. Yes, we have one of those. She has a teal oh, I love one. Mine. Yeah. And oh, no, so I'm like, great. I feel like I need to snag hers and put it in my chair so I'm not quite so uh, Here's the wobbly. thing in particular. That made about, you much taller. Yeah, it does. Here's the thing that, that this thing does is it it keeps your Spine. musculature. And yeah, it, 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 everything that keeps you upright, it keeps all of that engaged. So even if you were to slouch in it, you would feel the difference. And, and right. your body naturally wants to be upright. If yeah. you're upright, you want the it'll it'll engage that, and it yeah. gives you that kind of opportunity to move a little bit. And oh my god, yeah. you know you're you're like you're like touching Doctor Sage right now, <laughs> like, because when you because when you, when you were telling me about I get and I'm like I've been sitting down, and at a certain point I get antsy. That's your body, your body's own innate intelligence telling you, gotta move. Got to move this thing. The vehicle for this experience yeah. needs some movement right now. That's what yes. that is. That's what that yeah. is. Now, there are other people who will just, it, it, you know, at some point they sit down and then they always have that leg kicking. They got something going on. <laughs> they're, they're, I know they're, somebody who does that and it makes me strong. absolutely berserk. <laughs> I'll, I'll slap my hand down on that knee and be like, stop that. They can't. For things. me, they're, I know, I know. But <laughs> for me, it's the repetitive noise. Repetitive noise just sends me up the wall. It's like nails on a chalkboard. And I've gotten a lot better about it recently, but I used to just snap. Like if I was sitting in a restaurant and somebody started chomping and I could hear it, I would start being really loud and be like, gosh, I guess everybody's mama didn't teach them. You don't chomp like you've got an open <laughs> barn door when you eat, you oh, know, boy. like I'd be really loud and make sure they heard it. But the people who do it, like that's built into their, yeah, their What's system the and they don't, they don't consciously know that they're doing that. And I'm yeah, like, I consciously know you're doing that. Stop. <laughs> you know, That's I am I going like to generation. snap in three, two, two, one. Yeah. You're so loud. Stop it. Stop I'm it. Like, you're so loud. You're so stupid. I don't want to hear or see your food. 
<laughs> you know, that, that is bad when you get one of those open mouth chewers that, that you can see. That's you just like, oh my God. That is so disgusting. I you know like, I don't want to see that. But you know what? To be fair, to be fair, I think watching watching anybody anybody eat is is an odd proposition. I mean, how how people yes. pack it in is always an odd proposition. Now, I've known some yes. people who do weird things. I've known some. I people do that. Who just, I do weird things. Who you just you just can't look at because it looks like what they're doing something weird. I do. <laughs> you know, I've known people where I've seen them eat. I'm like, that is the most elegant, <laughs> gentile, most beautiful, and really man, woman, child kind of doesn't matter. But those kind of table manners of that is something to see. I I, yes. I enjoy seeing that as much as I'm repulsed. Rare. And, yeah, as much as I'm repulsed and enjoy watching people stuff stuff in their mouth. <laughs> I, well, what I was referring to a moment ago when I said I'm one of those, I have weird things that I do. I put my arms or like around my food, like I'm, I, like I've been in prison and I'm guarding my food. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm that person. I saw a meme about that and I was like, oh my God, I've never been to prison, but like I do that. And I'm like, no, <laughs> you know, my kids all come up. Hey mom, can I have a bite of your potatoes? Uh, and, no. And your immediate instinct is to punch them in the face. <laughs> well, not not quite that. But like, I'm like, no. No. And they're there's like, plenty, really? There's, there's the, yeah, there's the pot over there. You can go. I'm like, serve do you not see more. the bowl of potatoes? Why do you need my potatoes? <laughs> or I'll be like, I gave insulin for that. I can't share it with you. That's rough because that's actually legitimate. And, and it is. And, and does serve your kind of weird prison eating need yes. to not share your food. The only thing I like to share is dessert. You know what? I I'll do. Share I my do. Dessert. One of my always, every time, here's one of my favorite restaurant experiences if, if you're so lucky to have one of, of this, of like this, is when. You go somewhere that's really super nice and they roll out that cart, you know, the dessert cart. Yes. And even though you're stuffed with all kinds of rich goodness that you've just eaten, you look at that cart and your salivary glands start going again. <laughs> and you're, right. and you're, and you're, and for you, for you or any keto freak, you're counting carbs. You know? <laughs> You know, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to not eat for three days if I have dessert right now. Right. Yeah. And, and, and then but, you order, yeah. you, you pick, everybody looks at it and they pick something. And when they bring it, you're like extra spoons and everybody has something. Or, I mean, yes. there were times where, where, you know, that situation for me was one of, you know, we're poor, but we're having something really nice right now. Everybody's sharing anyway. Yeah, and it's the that one eight layer blackout cake, <laughs> <laughs> right? And seven spoons. And Man, everybody, everybody should be sharing that anyway. That is yeah, every, yeah, way right. too much food. And everybody was pleased as punch and just had a really great time. I mean, yeah. dessert dessert has a special. Place. I'm not a big dessert person. It's more. Yes. It's more what's happening around dessert like birthday yes. cake i'll eat I, I will eat birthday cake at anybody's birthday okay you know what sage <laughs> what i've got i've got to tell you a story uh, my brother insisted that we come to atlanta for our birthdays because he wanted to treat us to a really fancy um meal and i, I stop know right I there you. stop right there uh anybody listening right now it's a little bit late but if you don't mind, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday, dear rebel. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Yay. 
Yay! Yay! I hope you, if you're listening, I hope you're applauding right now. We just finished that birthday song. <laughs> But we went out for this amazing meal and my brother, um, I'm just going to go ahead, even if I'm not supposed to, and shout out the restaurant. And I'm not sure what his title was, but he's like the a chef manager or something. And he usually, usually if, if, if you're like the, the head chef or something of that nature in a restaurant, that means Executive you're... Chef. Um, yeah, you're, you 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 yeah. run stuff. You, you don't just obviously cook. You, yeah. obviously I don't get to really super nice like five star restaurants very often. Obviously, we went to <laughs> is the name of the place in Atlanta, and okay. the food was amazing. And my brother's friend Michael just like he treated us so well for our birthdays. He sent out some appetizers for us and. We had dessert and I tried Wagyu steak and I may have mispronounced that, but I think I have it right. And it's, and it was from the Kobe region of Japan. Like the thing with this steak is it only comes from four regions in Japan and it's a certain type of beef and it's so tender. You can cut it with a spoon. And the difference is, for some reason, these cows, and I might have this wrong, I might be remembering it wrong, but like on regular cows, it the fat, it's like fat back. It's on the it's on the outside yeah, yeah, of the it, muscle. It, it, yeah, like on a, like on a person, it collects right you know, between, on the outside the, of the muscle. the muscle. Yeah, right. And with these cows, for um for these steaks, the fat deposits are woven into the muscles. It looks like little caves. And I couldn't see it on my food when it came out, but I looked at a raw piece of the meat, like on the internet after I had it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the heavily fat mar- is heavily marbled. Yes, but it's not the same as something as a cow any piece yeah, of- it's not it's not like it's not like the it's not like the big uh, big american cut that we see that has marbling of fat it's more like correct uh, more it's uh, like caves, like little caves all throughout like veiny fat deposits basically and i know okay. i'm making it sound really gross but when you put this steak in your mouth it melts it I have never had anything this fabulous in my entire life. It's amazing. And like in Atlanta, there's only one place that is certified to sell this beef because they've got different standards for selling selling it. And um, Well, yeah, because they're demanding a price and you, you have to be legitimate if you're demanding a price. The price was... Ridiculous. (laughs) Ridiculous. <laughs> Over thirty dollars per ounce. Wow. Yes. But they had a special and I got the special and so it was like way less than that. But it was I mean, it was outstanding. I could literally cut my food cut my steak with a spoon and scoop it up and eat it. It was it was amazing. Yeah. So I might not ever get to have that again. Who knows? Who cares? But it's worth it. If you ever get the chance, definitely try that. So I I say I say we add that to uh, to the uh, to the content road list. Oh, yes. We should go have dinner. Yeah. And Sage, guess what? We have more listeners in Clichy, France. Really? Yes. Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. We love you, Clichy. <laughs> and Washington, Virginia, we love you. We know we you're out you, there. <laughs> we, we see you are listening to us. And Clarksville, Tennessee, thank you so much. Clarksville, Tennessee. Hey, yes. We got to go find somewhere out there to go. I don't think I've ever. We been, do. I think I've been through Clarksville. I don't think I've ever been there for anything. We Actually, should go check it out. 
actually, I think it's like a, a German restaurant or something, and they sell Jaeger schnitzel. And it's kind so of a mom and pop. What? You get loaded while eating a hot dog? No. You said Jaeger schnitzel, schnitzel. Schnitzel is gravy, I think. And the Jaeger part is the beef. Oh, wow. It's well, hey, really is, good, though. Well, like, it, sounds like, it sounds like a cultural adventure, too. We, we should, should go. definitely go. We should definitely go. Um, and just, yeah, we should set a time and date, and we should just go and let people come and say hi. Just that would hang be out awesome. there. And just, That'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, we're, we're, coming, we're coming to have some schnitzel. Why don't you come over? That's right. All the way up and, there in Clarksville, Tennessee. All, Clarksville, Tennessee. Hey, Clarksville, not that we don't love you, but it will be separate checks. <laughs> <laughs> because we are still poor. We'll set a date. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll st we're, we're still poor. We'll, we'll, we'll set yeah. a date. I would, I would love to meet listeners. I think that would be so Me fun. Me too. I'm, I'm really anxious to do that. So, um, and let's see, Franklin, Tennessee is is a big, really big listenership. Los Angeles, I think Los Angeles and Franklin have about the same number of listeners. That's awesome. Los Angeles, California. Yeah. So shout out to hey, LA. Oh, um, um, shouting out east of East <laughs> LA. Pico, hey, Pico right. Rivera. Pico Rivera. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, Sage, but I'll go with it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's where Sage is from. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't I, think I you really... told me that. For some reason, I thought it was well, Whittier. Um, well, Whittier is right there next door. Okay, <laughs> so, yeah, kind so of, close. Kind close. Of Whittier, yeah, Whittier too. All right. Whittier too. All right. But I mean, and very, um, but, Murfreesboro, yeah, Tennessee. The borough. Hey, I used to live in the borough. It's a they're great loving place us to be. in the borough. <laughs> Love it. Thank you. Thanks for listening so, to the borough. Yeah. But, what were you saying about? Oh, the... oh. I mean, you know, people say that they're. I'm from here, or I'm from there. And right. I'm always very interested in the context of that because when I say I'm from Pico Rivera, California, yeah, quite literally, the people that created me, that brought me into the world, lived four blocks away, went to the same grade school, went to the same high school. Yeah, I mean, you know, my my. my my grandparents on either side, um, you know, bought brand new homes in the fifties and, right. you know, the, the, quite literally this place, this little city out of all the cities in the entire world, this is where I'm from. Yeah. And so, That's your I place. Mean, yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah. kind of weird when people ask me where I'm from, cause I kind of have to, if I say Pico Rivera, they look at me like a, like, where's that? But I tell them East LA and they're like, oh, and they're like, oh, they, yeah, they get kind of a concerned look on their face. Like I'm about <laughs> to stab them. <laughs> 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 well, they, they, they think, oh, are you in the witness protection program? <laughs> <laughs> right. That's but, it. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. But no, it's, uh. It's fun to know where you're from and, you know, and kind of get all that, which is, which is another thing that is interesting to me about people who listen to the show and the people that we have, that we interview is, yeah. you know, finding out, you know, uh, where people where you are come from. from, yeah, where you come from definitely shapes your perspective. It's yeah. definitely, uh, you know, a, a connective point for all of us to say, Hey, Here's, here's why I see the world the way I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, Sage. Well, that's all I think I've got for the universe today. Okay. You know what? Yeah. I, I, I have a little bit of cooking to do and then I'm going to need to get to bed in a little bit because, you know, True. I'm a vampire. Work yeah. and um, stuff. 
but I would really like to at this point, um, just that we're catching up and it's you and me catching up and, and you and I catching up with everybody who listens or someone who's going to listen. Yeah. I just want to reach out to the folks out there and say, thanks for coming by. Um, please like, and, and subscribe. Uh, we're looking to hit that, uh, thousand mark of, uh, YouTube, uh, subscribers so that we can, you know, have more fun and bring more content and bring more yeah. you know, people and artists and bring more interesting perspectives and bring more connections. Um, thanks for listening. Viva la France! <laughs> <laughs> Viva la and, France. And Franklin and Clarksville and LA and Washington, and Virginia. Washington, Virginia. Heck yeah! Thanks for being out there. And the ATL, because we know you're listening there in the ATL. We know you're listening too. in the ATL. We're gonna come visit and have some of that wagyu steak. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Well, bye, y'all. Have a great bye, week. Talk to you soon. Bye. Talk to you soon.